Now, before we start the video, I just wanted to give a disclaimer that I know this is silly. 65 inches is way too much for a daily driver. But since I have the TV above my desk anyway, I wanted to give this a shot. But that all being said, here is what happened within the week I spent using my 65 inch TV as my computer monitor. So to get a baseline on my experience, I used a variety of applications each day, including image, video, and audio editing software, as well as video game, content consumption, and everyday usage as a sort of metric for how it went. First, lots of screen real estate. So you could probably see this one coming, but I still want to mention it regardless. If I'm using Ableton or iMovie, which are timeline-based programs, I will need to have a large horizontal view to see the project. With a 65-inch LG C1 TV, there's no shortage of that. I also like that I can have two tabs open and they will be displayed quite largely, and then I can use half the screen for one and then half for the other. Two, immersion. Because of the size of this thing, you naturally feel so immersed in first-person games like Minecraft. Or even if it's just regular productivity, you only see what you need to work on. Now let's move on to the cons. Firstly, neck crane. Now obviously you could have imagined that this was going to happen, but you would have to view your screen at a much longer distance than what I'm viewing it at. I believe I was viewing it at maybe two feet or something like that, but because of the sheer size of it, it was just kind of hurting my neck to try to look up at the thing. So that would be one reason why I would deter people from even trying this. Now I know in my very specific situation, I'm just using my wall-mounted TV, whereas when I've seen others do it, they typically put it on their desk, but I would make the same argument that it's probably going to be the same in that case. Con number two, brightness consistency issues. So something that I kind of noticed about using my laptop with the TV is that sometimes it would be one brightness, shade and then it would go down a few or something like that which i normally don't notice in its regular tv mode but that being said it can be frustrating to see that so obviously i would not recommend this to anybody who is caring a lot about attention to brightness or color such as color graders well anyway that does it for me for this video let me know in the comments if you would ever even want to try this but that being said i've been little mr guy and have a great day Bye.